Boom! This is Chris at Zenwork Reptiles. Thank you for joining me once again. Anyways, guys, this is my last uh, Snakesmith video. I did 12 videos in a row to see if I can actually do it. Um, I did. It was taxing, but I did it, and I'm pretty proud of myself. Anyways, guys, uh, today I'm going to show you some of my animals that I haven't been on on YouTube yet. Um, some of my other ones. Um, so, I'd like to show you all my reptile room. It'd be a lot easier, but right now my house is tore apart. <laughs> my my bedroom uh, flooring is ripped out. My kitchen flooring is ripped out. And two of my bathrooms are ripped apart right now. Uh, we're having remodeling done. I know at Christmas time, right? Uh, I'm not thinking well. Anyways, guys, uh, I will do a reptile room tour uh, eventually, but that's the reason why I haven't yet because my house has been torn apart for the last three or four months and it's frustrating. Um, contractors <laughs> have a, a love hate relationship. They keep on saying they're going to come down and do stuff, but they don't. And so my house has been torn apart for a while. Anyways, guys, please like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. And we'll get this party started right after this. First thing I want to start out with is my blue tongue skink. Um, this is one of my blue tongue skinks. Um, I love these guys. I want to breed them. Um, I do breed them on a very, very small scale. Um, hopefully someday I'll really get in, into these guys. But they are... I have so many projects going on. Um, they're just not in the works um, right away. Hopefully in the next couple years, I will definitely breed a lot more blue tongue skinks. Um, they're amazing pets. Um, I actually had some friends over just a few minutes ago. They were holding her, had the kids holding her, just because they're so sweet, so easy. Um, come on, show us that blue tongue. There it is, boom, right away. Um, such great animals. It's okay, mama. Um, but yes, definitely one of my favorite uh, lizards i have in my collection they do make amazing pets they're wonderful um, if you haven't had one or dealt with one um, check them out they are awesome all right moving on this right here is barry uh, barry allen comment below if you know who barry allen is anyways um super great pet uh, i love this i love this guy or it could be a girl i'm not sure yet um but such a sweet animal um so Letting you guys know if you want to rush out and get a Salcata tortoise, um, this thing's going to get humongous. Um, we, we are planning for that, so um, just because this thing's cute, don't mean go out and buy one because um, they do get big. If you want a smaller tortoise, um, probably get a Russian. It's really hard to find a, uh, a captive bred Russian. Um, also, I think Redfoots are a really good choice. They get decent size, like probably like the size of a football, um, and they're a lot easier. Uh, Salcata is a lifelong commitment, and you also got to make sure because it's going to get bigger. Um, these things grow pretty decently fast, and uh, they get big. And of course, guys, you know I breed ball pythons. This guy right here is Stature. He's actually the first male I've ever owned. Um, he's my first male I bred, um, first one I've ever owned. Um, he is a banana inchy, and he's hyper. As you can see, he's one of my more hyper snakes. Um, he's really sweet though. Um, you're gonna say, well, he's kind of small if you've had him that long. Well, that's true, but he is a dirty little dog and he only eats mice and he doesn't grow that fast. But the amazing thing is, is that I don't need him to be that big to be a breeder. Um, he's over 500 grams and he just does not grow that much. I give him uh, mice and here I can only get tiny mice really here in town um he doesn't really like frozen otherwise he'd be a lot bigger but i do buy him uh, live mice and that's usually every other week um, i know he's never gonna get big but he's still a good breeder and i don't use him as much anymore but i said this is my first breed breeder male um the first one i ever purchased and he won't sit still oh my god thatcher yeah, he's a little dirty dog. He will not eat rats. And I refuse to grow mice. Mice make rats smell amazing. And of course, my, my daughter would be mad at me if I didn't show you this one. You guys seen this before. This is my first ball python ever. This is Charlotte. Obviously, 
Charlotte's Web because she's a spider. Um, you can check her out. I have other videos about her, um, but this is my daughter's pet. This <laughs> this thing is a dog. She comes out. She wants attention. She actually comes out of the cage and I open her up, and she comes and, and actually loves to be on um, humans. She actually uh, she will actually like climb up your arm and sit there for hours. She is very social. Loves to be. Um, held. She's an amazing girl. Um, I know she's not the best to look at. Um, spider jeans are okay, um, but I bought her. Just getting into ball pythons, I thought she was a little bit better than the normal, and I bought her, and she's what got me into the ball python <laughs> craze. And these guys right here, this is Dot. She's my little girl. Yeah. A little ferret. And this is Felix. Hey, Felix. These was supposed to be Dot and Yakko, but my kids named him Felix Faust, so we call him Felix. Again, comment below if you know who Felix Faust is. Uh, only a true nerd would know who Felix Faust is. These guys, my little ferrets, uh, like I said, my house is a menagerie. I'm just going through some of my other animals here. <laughs> but this is my little, my little crazy little ferrets. They, they are nuts. They are so fun and wild. They were sleeping. That's why they're so calm. Usually they're all over the place. Yo, I'm Felix. I'm Dot. Um, really sweet. Yo, but um, definitely a handful. This guy's, you've seen him quite a few times. This little potty mouth right here is Ringo. He likes to drop the F-bomb a lot. He's an angry little bird. But he's fun. Um, they make amazing pets. They are very demanding. I bet you guys hear him screaming in all my videos. He's he's noisy, but compared to most conyers, he's quiet. Huh, Ringo. Um, but he makes a great pet. Um, good companion. Huh, Ringo. But definitely a handful too. Okay, this right here is Data. That's right, Data from Star Trek. He's actually a rescue, and he's not as sweet. He might fly. He's uh, he can fly a little bit. I do cut his wings, but he's uh, he can still fly a little bit. He is not as sweet as uh, Ringo, but he was a rescue. Um, the person that had him didn't work with him that much. I got to the point where I can actually see, kind of touch him. This is my finger, this is my shoulder, but he's not as friendly as Ringo. But we've worked with him a lot. We've made lots of strides with him just to be able to hold him. Because when we first got him, he was not going to let anybody hold him. Anyways, let's move on. Okay, guys. This is actually one of our pet rats. This is Peaches. She's super sweet. She's a little Siamese rat. Little nose. So... Not all reptile keepers are evil. We love rats here. Unfortunately, they're also food for my snakes, y'all. On peaches. She's super sweet. Um, she'll sit with my daughter for hours and hours, or me, or my wife. She's a sweet little girl. So don't get the image that I want to kill all rats, and I love enjoy killing rats I don't I think rats are amazing pets and awesome animals um, unfortunately my ball pythons have to eat and that's one of the necessary evils of owning them and of course you've seen this big girl before my gosh she's getting so big quick this is Dax yes girl you're a good girl and you get she's my little Doberman pitcher puppy she's not such a puppy anymore she's a puppy but god she's big <laughs> anyways you can see we didn't cut her ears. Um, a lot of people do crop their ears. We decided not to. Um, I'm not looking for a, a threatening looking dog. We're just looking for a pet. And there was no reason to put her through the, the pain of getting the ears cut. I don't diss on people that do, um, but we decided not to. And she is getting so big. <laughs> Look at this. Oh my god, she's big. 
She is like, since the last time I, paid, I showed her in the video, she's like double the size. Yo, Dakti, huh? Yo, you want down? This right here is Tink, Tinkerbell. She's a little rat terrier girl. She's getting pretty old. Um, her friend, Cricket, uh, died. And we got her, um, we got her, I'll put her down. We got her uh, Dax, um, Jedzia Dax. <laughs> Comment below if you know what that is too. Um, we are nerds, I know. Uh, tomorrow, I wanna go through some of my uh, modern lizards, um, show you some of my tag, maybe at least, at least one of my tagus. Also show you my roughneck uh, monitor. Um, try to show you some other animals. And I have like so many snakes. It's just hard to get them all on camera. It just I have to push everything out of my room. I have some uh, spotted pythons. The spotted pythons are a a gem uh, of a python. They make great first time snakes. Um, I should do a video about them. You hear about them a lot more now than you used to, but still they're not mainstream. Um, I've always heard of them as the Aust Australian uh, corn snake. Um, they're great uh, first time snakes, easy to take care of. Don't have the shedding problems of say the ball pythons and they're sweet. Anyways guys, thank you for checking out some of my animals. Um, I do appreciate it. Um, you guys are amazing. Thank you guys for all your support. Um, you guys really helped me out. Um, <laughs> Moving forward to being a full-time breeder and doing this for a living. Um, thank you guys. Love you guys. Anyways, guys, if you wouldn't mind checking out some of my other videos, they're going to be right here. And I would be forever grateful if you uh, hit that and subscribe. Uh, love you guys. I will see you tomorrow. If not, happy holidays. Later.